Hey guys, uh, today we're working on a disassembly video. We're using an HP Chromebook. Uh, the exact model is HP Chromebook 11 G3. We're gonna show you how to safely take this apart uh, so you can get at all the components. Whether you're doing a motherboard replacement or a battery re replacement or a screen replacement, this video will show you how to, how to get in there. Uh, so to start, we'll flip this over. Get you zoomed in a little bit. All right, we're gonna take your screwdriver, just go around the edge, take out all your screws. One thing I like doing when you're taking apart a computer, um, not all the screws are gonna be the right length and width for all the threads. So as you're taking out the bottom case screws, keep them separate so you know they're your bottom case. Um, same for motherboards and heat sinks and whatever you're using. If you notice here on the top, uh, these were two rubber feet in there, and I've taken off one rubber foot here, and you can see there's a screw under it. So keep in mind that you may need to remove some of your rubber feet to get at screws that are underneath it. Yeah, same on that side. So depending on what exact model you have, it may be different. Just look under your rubber feet to make sure there's no screws there. Let me just check these bottom ones. Real quick. I use a little flathead screwdriver usually to get in here. Okay, there's nothing in there, so I'm pretty sure there's nothing in this one. They're usually held on by double-sided tape um, or, or, or glue, so those will go right back on afterward. So now that I have those screws out, I'm going to take my small metal pry tool, my flat metal pry tool. I'm going to go along the seam of my palm rest and my bottom case and pry it up. Now be careful because oftentimes uh, there will be ribbon cables or connections going from the palm rest to the bottom case. Um, so when you go to take it off, don't just rip it right off. Again, depending on your model number. So let's see what we got going on here so far. Okay. Let me take a little finagling. There you go. So it's come loose, but I want to make sure nothing's holding it on. Yep, so as you can see under here, uh, there's a ribbon cable here and a ribbon cable there. So again, that's why you don't want to just feel that it's free and rip it off. Uh, you'll end up breaking things. Uh, so you want to get these two unattached. This is nice. There's a lot of wiggle room here. A lot of computers you don't have as much. You're like stuck down here. So ju just keep that in mind. Now, in here, I'm going to use a, a plastic pry tool this time, not a metal one, because uh, I don't want to go poking around my motherboard and making connections where connections shouldn't exist. You can damage things that way. So I'm going to take my pry tool and I'm going to uh, free these ribbon cables, and then I'll show you how I did that in a second once I get it off. Okay, there's your palm rest. So if you need to access your uh, touchpad, your touchpad's right here. You would unscrew these screws, un unscrew this, and you can get your touchpad out. Keep in mind, though, in this model, as in a lot of little Chromebooks, um, your keyboard, your touchpad, they're not held in by screws all the time. As you can see here, there's no screws holding in your keyboard. There's these little plastic rivets that hold on uh, the metal panel supporting it. So if you do decide to swap out your keyboard, you're going to have to break those permanently. Um, which means that the next keyboard you put in may not be as secure in there. Uh, that's why if you lose a key or whatever, we, we advise you to replace that individual key um, instead of replacing the entire keyboard. And, and if we do a video on that, we'll, we'll have that link down below in the description. So there's your palm rest. We'll put that aside. Uh, as usual in our videos, if you get stuck, if you have any questions, um, check the frequently asked questions below in the description. It could save you time. But if you have any questions that, that aren't there, leave them below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Usually a couple times a day at least. Now if you see in here, I'll show you right here. This is what the ribbon cables were connected on. So you have this one right here. And as you can see, this one and this one, they look different, but they're kind of set up the same. They're a little plastic uh, clip. And the way it works is they snap down to secure the ribbon cable, and they pop up to release the ribbon cable. 
So right now this is snapped down. So what you would do is you would take your pry tool and you would pop it up. Same thing with this one over here. You take your pry tool and you'd pop it up. And then after you've gotten the ribbon cable out, make sure to put those back down because they break very easily. Um, and if you do break them, good luck finding another one. Um, uh, sometimes you can find them for sale, oftentimes you can't. Uh, so the next item we'll take out is the battery. Anytime you enter a computer, uh, in addition to making sure your charger is unplugged, the first thing you want to remove is your battery. We want to get power out of this computer as soon as possible. It limits anything that can uh, be broken. So we're going to go in, take these screws out. I have a screw here, 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 and here. And again, uh, try to keep these separate from the screws that you've already taken out from your, mother, uh, your uh, bottom case. So those are out, and as you can see here, uh, this is held on not by the ribbon cable connection, but by a plug. Uh, when you go to unplug this, don't grab the wires and pull. Oftentimes you'll break it. Uh, what I do is I put a fingernail over here, a fingernail over here, and I sort of wiggle it out. But I make sure that, that I pull from this port and not from the wires. So we'll go ahead and wiggle that out like that. And this battery just comes, oops, I forgot that screw. It's another part with laptop repair. You're strong enough to muscle anything out. So the moment you feel resistance, stop and see if you missed a screw. So that battery comes out right like that. If you need to replace your battery, this battery is an HP PE03 uh, model. You, you can usually get a part number here or a model number, um, but that's how you would replace the battery. Next we have your motherboard. Your motherboard is found here. Your speakers are down bottom here. Uh, they come out fairly easily. They're held in by double sided tape and then the wire just goes over here. Um, so that's fairly easy. Let me zoom in on this for you. Okay. So this is your motherboard. Next thing we're going to go after, uh, we'll take out your Wi-Fi cards right here. It's fairly easy. Wi-Fi cables are generally held in just by clips. So that's your Wi-Fi uh, cable right there. We're just going to pop out your Wi-Fi antenna cables just like that. Then we'll unscrew the screw and take your Wi-Fi card out of the port. And then that just slides right out like that. Uh, next you have your SD card board here. It's plugged into the motherboard by a ribbon cable. Same connection as before. So we'll take our plastic pry tool, pop that end up, slide it out. Then we'll unscrew the SD card board. Screw down bottom. Screw up top. That comes out fairly easily. Uh, now for the motherboard. Uh, this is your LCD cable coming down here, plugging into the back. Same connection as, as before. So I'll pop that up. Slide that out. Snap that back down. Again, be careful with those. Uh, your power uh, jack was plugged in right here. It's not the up and down clip. It's the same connection that you just saw in the battery. So we'll put two fingernails there. Slide that out. Uh, then your speaker wire. This is a little more annoying. Um, it's, it's not the clip that you saw with the ribbon cables and it's also not the one you saw with the battery. This is a little more annoying so this may take some extra wiggling time. There's no space for your fingernails. So that may take a little bit more prying out. There we go. But you can get it out the exact same way. Again, resist the urge to, uh, to pull on those wires. Uh, now it looks like the motherboard's pretty much unplugged from everything, so we're going to go around and unscrew all the screws in the motherboard. A little trick with these motherboards is uh, there's a lot of holes in the motherboard. As you can see, there's a hole there, hole there, hole there. Uh, but not all of them have screws in them at this point. So in order to know which holes to put screws in, you can see right here, uh, they have little white arrows near the holes, or little white triangles 
near the holes where you need screws. So there's a white triangle arrow there, 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 but not there. So that's how you can tell when you're putting this motherboard back in uh, where you need to take screws out, where you need to put them in. All right, I think I got them all. This should be fairly easy to get up. Oh, there's one more plug left in. Oh, there's not. Okay. So there's your motherboard. Um, as with a lot of HP parts, if you're looking for a replacement motherboard, there's a couple different routes you can go. This has a sticker on it right here. Um, and as you can see, there's a part number on it. There you go. This is 7830890001. That's the way an HP part number generally looks is those six digit first number dash a, a three digit number. Or you could always go in the back of the motherboard and get this number DAY07MB, uh, 16D1. So those, this is usually a probably a more accurate way um, to get your part number. Sorry about that, not sure why it all fogged up on me. But yeah, that's usually a better, uh, more accurate number to get. So put your motherboard off to the side. Uh, now we've gotten this bottom part taken apart pretty well. We'll take out your LCD assembly now. So we'll just unscrew the two remaining screws that are holding your hinges down. And that comes out like that. Keep in mind your wires are still run, so we'll unrun your LCD cable, your antenna wires, and now we can separate these two components right there. So there's your bottom case. Okay, so there's your LCD assembly. Uh, first thing to check for is, is any screw holes uh, that could be holding this down. Here you don't see any, but they hide them. On these corners here, it looks like that's a solid piece, but that's a sticker uh, that goes over your screws. So be careful about that. So we're going to take our little small flathead screwdriver, maybe a metal pry tool if, if, if you have it, and uh, we're going to go around here and pry that up. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not where they put screws. Let's just go around the side, see if we can get this bezel up. So take your pry tool, slide an opening, then just go around. Uh, be gentle, you don't want to crack your LCD, unless it's broken and you don't really care. Okay, I think there's a screw in here. Maybe hard to get out though. Okay, yeah, so that comes up. Okay, so as you can see, I just took this sticker up from that corner. And as you can see, there's a, uh, th there's a screw hidden in there. Kind of like when you were taking out your bottom case, they hide screws up under the feet. So there's two screws in each corner here, hidden by one of those little stickers. So we'll go get the other one from here. There we go. Kind of hard with those stickers. All right, so now we can pop the rest of this bezel up. In my defense, that was already broken, I swear. If you rewind the video, you'll see the crack. Uh, so that's your bezel. There's no real components on that. That just protects the outside. Uh, there you have your webcam up top. Uh, and here's your LCD. Now your LCD in this model, your hinges are held down on the corner. Your LCD is not plugged in, in, into the panel. Your LCD is plugged into the hinges. Uh, and, and they're looking like that more and more. So I'm gonna take out these four screws and that should free up the LCD from the hinges. Oops. Throwing stuff. All right, so that should free up my LCD. Pick that up. Okay, I'll slide that around for you. 
Now the last thing you want to do to unplug your LCD is, is, is kind of tricky. Um, it's held in there uh, by some tape first of all. So I'm going to slowly and gently try to take this tape up. Okay, I'll zoom in on that, that, that for you because this is kind of a tricky, annoying part. So there's your connection, and this is very easy to break. This wire is very flimsy attached to its port. So go under here. There we go. Just get the sticker started. There we go. What a pain. All right, let's try it from the other side here. A little more dangerous, but I don't want to take forever to do this. Or I may have to. All right, there we go, that's coming. All right, so the sticker's starting to come up. So go nice and easy with it. Peel it up towards your, your connector. All right, so now the sticker's up. And now I'm gonna take my little flathead screwdriver I'm going to go on either side of the port and I'm going to slowly push off, gently push off. Turn that around so you can see it better. Just like that. There you go. And it slides right out. This is very flimsy. It's very easy to pull on this cable, uh, on the cable and pull the LCD wires right out of the port. So that's why you go very slow on that. But there's your LCD. Oops, wrong way. So that is how you would disassemble uh, this Chromebook. That's how you would access most, if not all, of uh, the components that you would need to access. Um, as described earlier, uh, once you're putting the motherboard back in, look out for those little triangles, those arrows to show you how to screw it back in. Uh, and keep in mind when you're shutting this back up, double check everything before you close it up. Make sure that you've reassembled it correctly, that no wires are missing. Um, it's also a good idea to uh, take a a camera picture um, with your phone uh, of your motherboard so you know where things plug in uh, before you go back and uh, start taking everything out. So again, if you had any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, hopefully this helped you navigate inside this Chromebook. Uh, please like and share if it was helpful. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.